Welcome, everybody, to the H3 Podcast Live. It's a little ditty in my heart today. <laughs> because we are live over at twitch.tv forward slash H3 Productions every Friday. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Today's episode is sponsored by MeUndies, Captera, Lyft, and Man Crate. God bless you. Um, also got some fresh merch up today. Some fresh hot merch, including, but not limited to, Vaping Santa. A Christmas sweater. You know, when when Christmas comes, I want you to wear this at your house and freak your Nana out. <laughs> She's going to say, what the hell is Santa doing, young Billy? And you say, Nana, you don't understand, you old hag. What What do you tell your parents when you want to wear this on the holiday? It's just a Santa in the cloud. I think it's innocent, honestly. We we were torn on it. We're like, is this not, is this too far? Santa, it's not like Santa shooting meth. It's not Santa with a heroin needle in his, yeah, it's vaping. It's a cloudy day. It's a cloudy day. Vape niche. Anyway, we thought it was a little bit of a... Gag, so that's up on H3H3 Shop. Um, hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Appreciate you all so very much for coming out and spending your day or evening, if you're in Europe, with us. What a joy and a privilege it is to share this time with you. God bless you. We did have a guest scheduled today, Bert Kreischer, but he had to cancel for personal reasons. So blessings to him. Papa's blessings, to be specific. And uh, we're But we're going to be kicking it old school. Me and Hila. Yep. Top of the week? Top of the frickin' year. <laughs> because we have so much to talk about and some exciting news, too. Previously, we had a call-in system through Discord, but honestly, nobody knows what the fuck Discord is. And you had to be subscribed on Twitch, and we kept getting, like, the same 10 people. I mean, bless your hearts. And every time Dan would explain, and as soon as he's done, people would say, wait, how? I wouldn't be able to figure it out. Yeah. So here's the great... News. Dan, I actually don't have the phone number. We have a public phone number, so anybody can call in now. Poor Ian is going to be <laughs> on the brunt of everyone trying to call him, but he's going to sort it out. Dan, can you say the phone number? What, what is it? Uh, we're going to put it on screen right now. I see it. Okay, great. So call this number if you'd like to engage with us in any conversation. We're live, baby. This is live. Should we do a first one? like like the? Yeah, let's take a call. Like right now. Uh, d- 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 start calling. <laughs> Anyway, I'm really excited about this because it's like a real radio show now. You know, we don't have to. You don't have to go on like Discord. Yeah. So my the head story today that I want to talk about is in our last episode with Post Malone, we were watching a live stream of Patrice Wilson's and he scared the living God out of me. <laughs> um, for those of you who missed that episode, we were watching. Uh. He's jumping into screen now. What does that mean? It's going to look at the calls. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, I, uh, <laughs> no, you don't have to tell me everything that goes back down back there to Dan. <laughs> Ian's getting water. I'm like, okay, dude, I'm do- fucking doing a show. Um, <laughs> How happy is Ian right now? <laughs> <laughs> so in the last episode, if you guys missed it. Patrice Wilson, who's someone we had made videos before in the past, he's a little creepy guy, and they all have a bit of a pedo vibe. So this was years ago. I don't know if the guy's actually diddling kids. I mean, how could I know that? But it's the insinuation. Yeah. There's never been anything actual. <clears throat> yeah, no. I, the guy, I, it's a joke. Right. It's a joke. Anyway, he's deleted all the cha- videos on his channel, started a live stream with our channel name and the title, H3H3. And um, it was super creepy. We pulled up the live stream when Post Malone was here, and the countdown faded to a shower curtain, a live stream of a shower curtain, a really creepy yeah. seedy one. And it was like uh, shots of him walking through a graveyard. It kept getting weirder and weirder. After we finished the stream, there was like uh, him walking in the you know in a dark street and mm-hmm. like mumbling, "Stop it!" Stop to himself. It. Yeah. Kill. I mean, what? at first I was like, oh, this is creepy. <laughs> but then it kept happening, and people were saying in the comments, like, you should probably start taking this seriously. Like, at what point do I inform the authorities or YouTube or someone that this guy has lost a couple of, of screws and he's coming after me? Well, I wasn't, I wasn't super scared, but later, I think it was the next day, <laughs> he had changed the countdown because it was originally counting down like 300 hours till December 1st at midnight. Mm-hmm. And so 
he uploaded a video on his channel and he changed the countdown to two hours and he uploaded this video and it scared the living Christ out of me. Wow, it's so low that you can't actually see the image on this monitor, but it's a it's a graveyard. It's a looping image of a graveyard and in the description it says Ethan. <laughs> Like, before he yeah. hadn't called me out by name, the H3H3, H3, it could have been incidental, maybe. Part of, of whatever. His, uh... And he added a second countdown. So there were two countdowns. Yeah. One was for that day, which was Saturday, the day after the podcast. So I'm sitting at home trying to relax after a long, stressful week. And I've got Patrice's live stream open with my fucking name and a close-up reoccurring of a rainy tombstone. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm freaked. Okay, if you don't know what this guy looks like, let me show you who the fuck is after me. This is Patrice Wilson peeking in the window of a 12 year old girl <laughs> pretending to be Mr. Rogers. Okay, this is who's after me writing Ethan in the description, dudes. Okay, so there was a countdown and it was for like sometime in the evening, maybe eight or something like that. And we were at home. Yeah. And we kept watching it and just doing whatever we were doing, thinking, like, maybe it's creepy, maybe it's stupid. And then as we kept going down, it was, like, almost, like, an hour to the end of the countdown. We started to get freaked out. Well, it was when I saw my name in that. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? This is fucked up. This isn't cool. <laughs> so I'm like, Ela, get your shit. We're leaving. I'm leaving the house. I am not going to get turned into Chinese food by this creepy guy. <laughs> That's one of his videos. It's a reference. To it's a re it's a reference. It's a. I like Chinese yeah, food. Yeah. Um, so I bounce and I wrote an email to my contacts at Google and YouTube, and I and I'm so embarrassed by that email because I was genuinely like, this shit is getting too weird for me to handle, and I think I titled it something like "Urgent: A Threat Against My Life." <laughs> Like that dramatic because I was like, I have one minute to leave. I started getting like tingles down my spine. I was legitimately freaked out. Urgent threats against my life. And they're like, what? Like, what the fuck? Like, Ethan's always been insane. I complained to these guys so much. They're like, this, this is too much for me. Every day there's an urgent email. <coughs> yeah, exactly. Channel it's, deleted. <laughs> yeah, I well, that's it's a combination of me being an alarmist and them actually, you know, having a <laughs> shitty platform. But probably anyway, they get this email from me, and I think I think I still have it. But I'm like, uh, this channel is making threats against my life, and he's got my my name in the title, and he's doing creepy shit in this channel. It's like not very convincing unless you are in it. Yeah, I can only imagine how it was received. Is like, wow, Ethan's really losing it. <laughs> I'm re I'm really deeply embarrassed because these are people I respect. They sent this email to. <laughs> I sent that off. I'm freaked out. I'm not thinking. And we get in the car. We drive to a fucking Ralph's parking lot. And we're sitting there waiting out the timer. Like an hour. I'm sitting in Ralph's parking lot. I'm like, there's plenty. There's people around us, right? And then. I was expecting him to like, come out the back seat. Yeah. And then he came on and he had like a creepy voice. I've got the video. Oh. So the countdown finally expires. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Um, <coughs> let's take some calls after this. Uh, oh, wow, we have a lot. Holy smokes. I'm trying to understand this. Okay, he's still screening. This could be our ghost story, even though there's no ghost, <laughs> is, ghost involved. Patrice is the ultimate ghost. Uh, Dan, I thought we were only supposed to have eight callers, but there's like 30 here. Anyway. Mm. <coughs> so, the, the countdown uh, expires. I'm sitting in my car in the Ralvis parking lot, f shitting bullets, looking over my shoulder, and this is what comes on Patrice's live stream. And the number one thing today, bullying, is so sad. <laughs> you sit there, you sit there, you sit there, and you encourage it. And meanwhile, I'm sitting in my car like... You sit there. Nothing. Meanwhile, I'm sitting there in my car like, oh, this is so stupid. Like, what is my life right now? <laughs> like listening to Patrice Wilson talk about bullying with a pitch shift on his voice. <laughs> like this guy got in my head, Patrice Wilson, dude. But anyway, he ended up like saying, 
And if you think that this is about going to someone's house, about trying to kill them, get that idea out of your head. You're wrong. <laughs> well, I, I want you guys to hear this. Because this was a huge drama. Like, the VOD of, of us happening through this live with Puss has like a million views. This was a huge <laughs> ordeal. There was a whole team of crack investigators on it. Yeah, that was Thank amazing. You. Well, we'll explain what they found after yeah. this, but I want you guys to watch this. Thinking it's no different than what you see on TV, the violence you see in the world today. You think it's no different? And then the same people have the audacity to watch the I love the sound effect. See what's going around the world. And I want to find the part where he goes, you're wrong. See something <laughs> happening like a fight. You would rather pull your phone out and film. Yeah. Say enough <laughs> is enough. I would not partake. I would not be part of this. Everyone's like, run, Ethan. It's so <laughs> sad to see how many people are promoting violence, even in a situation I think about. All right, come on, get... It's something vulgar, negative. Oh, here he goes. But all you can think about... He's saying everyone watching was just thinking something vulgar and negative. I, I, was only, yeah, I was only walking through a graveyard <laughs> with somebody's name who's made fun of me in the title. I was just saying to myself, stop it and kill. Stop it. Kill H3. I want to kill. I want to I want to fuck Ethan's dead body. Everyone's so vulgar. <laughs> vulgar, negative, bad. Sad, but I'm not trying to justify myself or make you like me. It's a total jigsaw. I'm gonna wake up in like a you know what's gonna happen? We're gonna wake up one morning and we're gonna be inside the dollhouse that that Allison Gold music video was where he peeks mm. inside. That'd be pretty cool to see the set, yeah. Until like uh, all of a sudden he starts date raping you every night, <laughs> which is what happened in that video. <laughs> This is not about me. A sub story. What is he? December the 1st. Yes. So I suggest that you keep on digging, finding the clues. And while you're doing it, have the decency in you to stay positive. Stay positive. <laughs> anyway, you know, he's real inspiring and all that. Negativity. Good job. Good job, Patrice. You got me out of my fucking house. On a Saturday night. It was the first time in months. <laughs> so I'll say that at least. Anyway. Oh. So I was like. He's not trying to kill us, apparently. Well, wouldn't he say that <laughs> to disarm us? <laughs> Have the decency to stay positive. So all these crack uh, detectives went to work to try to decode this. And here, let me show you this. The investigators. Yeah, the investigators. Um, let's see. They were like up on Discord all night. <laughs> let me read this. One of the Discord detectives checking in. So since the HP podcast last night, over 300 people joined in the official Patrice Countdown Discord. Ethan, lock the doors and get out and go get in the parking lot of Ralph's Your Life's in Danger. Cryptic live stream from Patrice. Around 15 of the dedicated members formed the detectives who worked around the clock and constantly dug up the location Patrice was walking around. So he showed himself in the graveyard. He showed himself walking around a house with ladders and shit. <laughs> I'm going to assume most of you have seen the video. Yada, yada, yada. So these, uh, these rain men, God bless them, they found exactly on Google Maps satellite images where in the country... Yeah, he was. They ident they identified all the locations <laughs> yeah. that he was showing. So he wasn't in LA, so that was a little bit of a um was a little bit of a relief. But then he says, "Hold on. Our, our 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 original leads were to track what is the shower curtain video and what's moving behind it. Where was the cemetery he was walking around? Where was the road he walked down?" Where was the house we walked around? For the first few hours, this was all we had, but the detectives quickly found the path he walked down, the house we walked around, and the cemetery he was at, but we couldn't find the link. Then Patrice leaked a couple more videos, a girl running through a forest being shot at, holding a baby doll, and then him sitting in a dark room, seemingly talking to voices in his head, saying, Stop it, Billy. Shh. Why all the negativity? 
<laughs> Brighten up, dude. There's clearly nothing sinister going on here. This videos were transcribed, and the names were researched for links to Patrice. Who were Eric, Billy, Michael, Chris, and Matilda? Were they his kids, his dogs, his children? We may never know. But there was a breakthrough. They were digging through domains under his name. Turns out the guy owns some really strange ones, including myigirl.network. <laughs> myigirlnetwork.com. <laughs> What's an iGirl? I don't know. Oof. It's a whole new genre. His name also came up on a website called Sonic Media Networks. Sonic Media Networks is not owned by Patrice, but is producing a show for them. With a little digging revealed, they have posted a couple of trailers on Vimeo for a horror show they're releasing on Amazon called Vantage Points. A couple trailers showed up. They found them. It's the same curtain. It's the same girl running through the fucking stairs, you know, Mm -hmm. running through the woods. And there was also a silhouette of my body (laughs) riddled with holes and stab wounds. And Patrice putting his dick (laughs) in my decapitated neck. I've been watching too many uh, so mine hunters. It was solved. So it was solved, and the guy was just doing a little bit of a gimmick uh, to to promote his horror show. And on one hand, like I don't really appreciate him using our name for publicity and freaking me out like that. <laughs> but on the other hand, I guess I owe him one. <laughs> you know what I mean? We've goofed on him enough, for Christ's sake. The guy can fucking make me think I'm going to be murdered for one evening. Fair enough. Fair enough, Patrice. All right, what do we got here? We got a call. Hello. Hello, you're on the air. Hey, how's it going, man? What Hello. up, baby? How you doing? I'm, I'm doing great. We're, we're doing great. We're, we love being a possible day. Three, three. God bless very you. very enjoyable. Thanks, man. Cool. What's Who's up? You got a comment about that? Patrice? Thank you. Um, our question is... Go ahead. What... Is your location going to be when you see the Patrice Wilson countdown go to zero? Okay, so when it goes to zero, well, basically, we can't tell you our location. Yeah, I can't. I can't say it, you know, publicly because that's a security risk. But probably at Whole Foods parking lot. Whole Foods parking lot. We'll be in the fem- we'll be in the feminine yeah, hygiene yeah. aisle of Whole Foods on Ventura, and uh... no, we were talking about that with with uh, Post Malone. The guy has guns. He's got guns. He's got swords. He's got brass knuckles. Post Malone. Yeah, not, he's got yeah. a whole freaking arsenal, and he's got bodyguards who are Samoan. He does. I'm going to be there. Wherever <laughs> that is, I'm going to be there. All right? Um, why is it muted? What's going on? Oh, are you there? What happened? He dropped. Okay. Mm. Thanks for the call, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Dan okay. did that, apparently. Okay. That worked. Um, Ian, you should write their name. Yeah, right. I don't, I don't know their name. Okay, cool. Thanks for the question. Well, yeah, thanks for the question. I uh, guess it, so. The new system works. We should keep it trying. It just worked. I mean, it worked. <laughs> um. So yeah, that's that. That was the exciting news for me. So anyway, lucky to be alive. You know. Thankful on this Thanksgiving day <laughs> that I am not being captivated captive by Patrice. <laughs> so, uh, moving on, wanted to discuss Black Friday as today's Black Friday. You know, what's what happened to Black Friday? Like last night after Thanksgiving, my sister was like, Oh, they're uh doing Black Friday at Target. I'm like, It's not, it's Thursday. Thursday. It's like people can't even get a break from having dinner with their family. It used to be <laughs> that these stores had the courtesy to wait till the next day. But now, the pandemonium, the depravity, starts right as you put your fork down. Like, seriously, we went there at 5 o'clock, and there was, like, we went outside Target, there was, like, leaves everywhere, garbage, low blood. Mm-hmm. It was, like, blood stains. The police were there. I'm like, okay. I didn't even finish digesting my food, and already it's, like, the fucking purge. Down at Target. What's in Target, by the way? Nothing. Literally, what is in Target that is worth lining up for? They did actually have the Switch. (laughs) By the way, they had a... It's it's all... This is not an ad. It's just the first time I saw the the Switch Switch for sale in any store. That's true. The funny thing about the Switch was we were were just there mostly out of curiosity. Um, (laughs) We were walking through the store... The Switch was a blockbuster 
Black Friday deal at $2.99. <laughs> that's the price. retail price. That's the full price. <laughs> what the hell kind of scam you running? <laughs> that's not, not a blockbuster. <laughs> <laughs> so essentially what, what Black Friday has turned into is retail companies tricking you into thinking you're getting a deal. It's a great Thursday. <laughs> They're not even giving you deals anymore. We're walking through Target. It's like TVs. You know, you save 30 bucks. People are buying Blu-rays. My sister went there to buy Blu-ray. Well, who buys digital media? <laughs> is that, how is digital media still a thing? I got a Blu-ray. Unlike my sale. D- my DVDs are garbage. I don't watch those, but my Blu-rays are killing it. <laughs> You're making fun of your sister right now, yeah, who may be watching. Up, you know, she's not watching. <laughs> Brian is though. <laughs> Brian Her brother-in-law does. is. <laughs> I've got a Blu-ray. <laughs> you know, in ten years, there's going to be beaming movies right into our brains, and physical media will be <laughs> left behind when we're all shrunk. You know what's going to happen in the future? We're going to run out of space. And we're all going to be shrunk into one inch tall, you know, like, uh, that's what's going to happen. And we're not going to be able to take our Blu-rays with us is what I mean. <laughs> you know, okay, all the it. poor people will be huge. The, huh? ri- the rich people will get shrunk because they have more space. It's like. You just watched that trailer? No, that it's movie? My, those guys stole the idea from Kurt Vonnegut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's this movie coming out. What was it called? Uh, something. I don't know, but they like. Oops, I'm Matt Damon and I got shrunk. Yeah. It's Sh- about. Uh, shrunk. Uh, shrunk you. I shrunk again. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> shrunk you. It <laughs> Anyways, does look pretty funny. It's a, I good, like the maybe. concept, but it's about Matt Damon. Downsizing, thank you, down. <laughs> and so, and, and like, if you have a hundred thousand bucks, you can get downsized, and you get to live like a king because everything's so cheap when you're small. So they live in a tiny little world, they use little tiny forks, but and they do not have Blu-rays. The technology doesn't exist. You can't have a disc this big. Everything else works. Point is, who's in Target buying Blu-rays? Your sister. Yeah, my sister. It's, it's way too close to home. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to celebrate. Um, <laughs> it, the, I I wanted to celebrate the act of stomping on a baby's face to save ten dollars on a rice cooker <laughs> by showing you my favorite Black Friday compilation videos. Cool. Or not? I made my own compilation. This is Ethan's finest. Wow, you're like so, a DJ of <laughs> YouTube. I'm a DJ of pushing Nana down and breaking her fucking hip to save two dollars on a Blu-ray. That you won't, you will throw out. Nice playlist. I, you gotta love the contrast of Thanksgiving too. Thanksgiving, you you get around with your family. <laughs> yeah, you're let's so, give thanks. You're so grateful for my love, for the love I have in my life, for my family, my friends. I'm healthy. I'm happy. And then eight hours later, you're like, "Get the fuck out of my way, Granny! I need to save five dollars on this <laughs> television that I'm gonna put in the kitchen." Because I already have one in all my other rooms. My kitchen needs a TV. I'm best! <laughs> I'm thankful for these Black Friday videos. So let's watch one. Um, well, let me give you a little twist here. This was actually one I saw from this year that gave me a giggle. There was apparently Black Friday is just catching on in the UK. And so they just had their first like stampede in the UK. This video absolutely blew my mind. I'm like scared. I don't know that UK is ready for Black Friday because look at <laughs> look at basically what happens in this retail store when they open the doors. This shit's going to blow your mind. <laughs> <laughs> I love how briskly he's walking like he's beating everyone else like I'm going to get that fucking God bless the Englishman and God bless that guy too. I saw a comment <laughs> They're like, enjoy the Black Friday sales. He's like, what's Black Friday? <laughs> what's? I'm just here for. I'm just here for a pack of gum. <clears throat> okay, but let's get to the face stomping. Let's get to the point why we're here. Enough wholesome bullshit. <laughs> let's get to the American Hunger Games. Just imagine if there was Black Friday in Israel, what would happen? Because <clears throat> here people are polite. <coughs> There'd be fatalities. Yeah. There'd be gunshots. 
could be an all-out civil war, man. <laughs> so here we go. This is, takes place in Walmart, of course. These f- people act like it's the last TV on Earth. <laughs> Maybe it is in their hearts and minds. Get that TV, boy. Get that. Oh my God. Get that monitor. Jesus. Pass it along here, fellas. It's only. It's the. Uh, I was about to break loose here, guys. There's only ten left. Did you? There's only ten left. Pandemonium, my friends. Here it goes. Oh, get shit. that TV. Get that mark. Do not let that beep take that 23 inch television. Is that actual police people? Yeah, the police have to waste their goddamn time. <laughs> like, I swear to God, at Target and Walmart, the police are just like, I have to wake up early, go away from my family, and stake out Target or Walmart because I know I'm going to have to taste someone. most dangerous to, days for them. I'm going to have to taste someone this morning. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Screaming, get on the ground at 5:30 a.m. at Target. God bless America. Eh? The TV must be broken by now. <laughs> the TV doesn't even work. Somebody had mentioned that they sell all the like the electronics that didn't pass the ins- inspection. So they have like the low tier shit grade electronics that they pawn off for discount on these days. Mm-hmm. So they're actually even buying even shittier electronics. Man, I wouldn't be surprised. You gotta get paid, buddy. <laughs> you know? Um what do, what do you think this is a symptom of? What's wrong with us? What is wrong with America? Because this doesn't happen in other countries. What do you see here? What does this mean? America is a special place. Thank you, Ila. Yeah, it's very special. Is that it? <laughs> what does it mean? Uh, I don't know. People need people need their TVs. Right. And it's on sale. Apparently there's just some good shows right now. <laughs> I don't know. People don't get paid enough. Americans, they don't get paid enough. Is it just like this... Ra- well, again, go, go to Israel. People get paid good here compared to Israel. I guess the problem in Israel is that the people who do the sales are like, I'm not putting this shit on discount. <laughs> it's like greed all around. I don't know. It's just Black Friday. I, I just, I keep cr- hearing like the Friday song in my head. <laughs> it's Black Friday, <laughs> Friday, gonna stamp on <laughs> Nan's face. <laughs> Gotta save $10 on this rice cooker. <laughs> I love to see what they're actually squealing and shitting over in these videos. Because you don't expect it. I swear to God, one of them's a rice cooker. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> but, like, other countries have consumerism. Europe. I actually think the U.S. is very ma- materialistic. More than other places. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. I don't know what is it, but I feel it. It's in but, the air. <laughs> But you're right that electronics and all that stuff is generally much more affordable here in America than in Europe. Yeah, it is. You guys may not know, but in Israel, for example, and I think the same is true in Europe because there's like different import taxes and stuff. But a TV that would cost like $300 here in America would cost like 500 in Israel. Same with computers and laptops and cameras and all that shit. Shoes, stuff like that. Clothing. So like we have it. Our, our wages are general higher. I mean... People don't. It's hard to find a good paying job here. And and it's more affordable. Is it just deals? Do people just love saving that they're worth that they're willing to kick a small child on the nuts? I don't um, know. I don't know. It's interesting. It's fascinating. Now, this one is gonna absolutely shock you. This one blew my socks right off my feet. Hila, you're not gonna want to miss this. Can you tell me what it is they're fighting over, first of all? It does look like a rice cooker. It looks like a little fucking barbecue or some shit. Or like a bull, like a Tupperware. Like, yeah. But watch, see, just watch what happens. I don't I don't want to interrupt this one because it's just so pure. 
What is this? Watch this kid. Do you see this? No. Did you see this fucking witch <laughs> pry it out of this oh, sweet young oh kid's Oh my hands? god. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And she's fighting the grandma. Wow. Why are you being so Watch. aggressive? You stole it from the kid. She pri she's like, give me this, you little shit. It's like out of Jingle All the Way or something. It's like out of a fucking parody. How is this real? Uh, exactly. <laughs> this is probably an otherwise like decent human being with a family and kids and a husband. Who's, who's <laughs> stealing shit from a kid? People are literally spilling out on a pile of crap. <laughs> Can we watch it again from beginning to end? As if a nuclear bomb, a, a nuclear Whoa. attack is imminent. Okay. What is that? Dan, can you I like really zoom in on I really want to know what's worth it's just fighting. A, it's just a pot. Yeah. Uh, just hold on. something me, you I'm cook in. Close look. It's just some cooker. I swear to God, it's just a pan. <laughs> I swear to you now, it's a Teflon pan <laughs> with, a, with a glass top. <laughs> okay. Imagine that, <laughs> and then watch this. <laughs> well, first of all, there's so much to see here. This woman eats shit. Like, I haven't eaten that shit, shit like that since I was like eight. Watch how her body sprawled out, and she's like, oh my god, I just ate shit. But then with her left arm, she's like, well, at least I got one of these. Watch this lady. On the there, in the green jacket. Oh, yeah. Okay, I got one, I'm good. Oh, she got two. <laughs> <laughs> How, as a kid, do you even oh understand this? Oh my god, this? there's so much going on. It's maybe the best video of all time. <laughs> I mean, I could study this. This is like, we'll go down in the history books. It's kind of like the joy of playing something like GTA, where you can just mm -hmm. run over people, mm -hmm. like nothing makes sense. Mm -hmm. This is almost like a video game like that. Right, Black Friday is GTA in real life. <laughs> <laughs> This kid is just trying to understand the world he lives in right now. These are his, the most formidable years of a person's life. And some woman just... Oh my god. Wait, this is, is this related? Wait, you gotta cancel the autoplay. Well, this could be good, actually. Target lady meltdown. I don't think that's related. I don't think it's related, but I'm having a vlog. A lot of fun watching it. Alright, this, nah. this is just a mental breakdown. Let's let her, let's have her. <laughs> what kind of world, I just, you live on the planet, you live in America, the most prosperous country of all time, and you're, you're crushing a child for a fucking Teflon pan. I don't know. <laughs> It's not worth your dignity. What do I wonder is do these people go home afterwards when the adrenaline has stopped pumping? You know, when they're when the discounts have have stopped to seduce them. Do they have a moment of clarity like an alcoholic who's like or a drug addict who's like mm. they come home, they sit on their bed and they're like, Oh my god, what have I become? No. Okay. They're just like, Yes, I got the pen. Think so? <laughs> She's at home cooking. <laughs> Let me cook something now. She probably didn't even fucking use it. I don't know. Have you ever wanted a pan that much in your life? <laughs> no. <sighs> I don't ever want any pen. Just, you buy it when you need it. <laughs> you would say that. You're so privileged. You don't know what it's like to need a pan. <laughs> but, like, just you go home and you're like, I just, what have I done? I've grabbed a pan. I've, I've, I've crushed a child. What have I done? Anyway, there's so much more. Well, okay. There's so much more. We're going to take it. Yeah, let's do a, the break. Yeah, a quick sponsor break. Thank you to them who makes the show possible. Thank you to watching. God bless you. I love you. So we'll be back after this brief commercial break with a ton more of these great videos. They're going to crush your dreams. Going to make you lose all your faith in humanity. <laughs> and basically not want to have kids. <laughs> and probably castration as well. Or or not castration, but how do you call it when you tie your tubes? You're going to want to chop your balls off. Castration. <laughs> All 
All right, we'll be right back. Thanks, guys. Thank you to MeUndies. Every year, millions of people receive the least liked gift of all time. You know what that is? Underwear. Oh, you do know where that is. Okay. (laughs) Well, listen, uh, the family and the friends, they don't want it, but we give it to them anyway. And you know why that is? Because we don't like them. Because we hate them. Yes, Hila. That's correct. But maybe it's not the underwear that it's the problem. It's It's the the kind kind of of underwear. underwear. (laughs) That's right, Hila. Let me tell you about MeUndies. It's the only underwear that makes for an amazing (laughs) gift. You can give it to people you actually like. And they're going to love it, too. Because, why, Ela? Modal. It's made of modal. That's right. <laughs> it's soft. It's flexible. It feels like an angel has grasped your waistline and is rising you up on its angelly wings to the pearly gates. <laughs> it's three times softer than cotton. It's natural. It's sustainably sourced fiber. Okay? Now, listen. MeUndies made underwear the perfect gift that everyone's going to love. And it's a goddamn holiday miracle. <laughs> they wrote that, by the way. If you want to know how serious these guys are about their, their they, they, they insisted that I use the Lord's name in vain during a Christmas read. And that's how confident they are in their product. And I'll tell you what. I got angels lifting me to heven on the skirt tails of a goddamn MeUndies micromodal. This year, don't give underwear. Give MeUndies. So listen, this holiday season, get your exclusive 20% off the softest underwear and socks you will ever wear. Free shipping, 100% satisfaction guaranteed. Go to MeUndies.com slash H3. That's MeUndies.com slash H3. Thank you so much to Thank my you. good friends over at MeUndies. Next up, we've got Lyft. Oh, did you know that Lyft knows that their drivers are what keeps them moving? So they do, they do everything they can to make sure their drivers are happy on every trip. Guys, it's a simple formula. Happy drivers mean happy passengers. Maybe that's why 9 out of 10 Lyft drivers get a f- perfect 5-star rating. Now, imagine what that's going to do for your self-esteem, right? What are you doing now? You, I, I don't know what, what kind of job you got. But imagine you're driving people around. 9 out of 10 times, they love you. And they're going to tell you about it, too. It's a thank. It's not a thank. It's a thankful job, and we could all use holiday miracle. It's a holiday. It's a goddamn holiday (laughs) miracle. You can earn hundreds of dollars a week plus tips. Want to earn more money? Drive more. It's never been easier to give yourself a raise. Lyft was the first rideshare platform with tipping built right in. Because getting tips shouldn't depend on your passengers having a crumbled bill in their pocket. I could say that in support of Lyft. Like uh, true. I never, I, I never cash carry cash, it. and I feel bad. This great guy, I give him, you know, sometimes five stars is not enough. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I want to give the guy a reach around. No. I want to touch his genitals and tell him I love him. It's a goddamn Christmas miracle. But you keep 100% of the tips, and they add up fast. Drivers have been paid out over $200 million since the feature was first introduced. 20% of it went to this guy, Jeff. He's now retired. Mm-hmm. No, I'm kidding. But Jeff's doing He's killing it. That was a joke, right? That was clear. <laughs> and Express Bay lets you get paid almost immediately instead of waiting for weeks, guys. Lyft has taken the guesswork out of pickups. The new AMP device uses color-coded to help passengers find their drivers. So join the ride-sharing company that believes in treating its people better. Go to lyft.com slash h3 today, and you can get 500 big bucks for a new driver bonus. That's lyft, L-Y-F-T dot com slash h3. Very for cool. 500 clams. Limited time only and terms apply. Thank you to our friends at Lyft, guys. Get in there and help get Next paid. Time. Captera. Thank you to Captera. It's that time of year again when the days are shorter, so don't waste your precious daylight sifting through a sea of search results when looking for the right business software. Get home on time tonight with Captera.com. Whether you're a startup looking to keep better track of customers, a nonprofit hoping to have a record fundraising year, or a business that simply needs better payroll software, you need Captera, and Captera, they've got you covered. Captera's got over 400 categories of software. Discover the right tools for your business, anything from email marketing to scheduling to accounting and beyond, so far beyond. Uh, you can't even imagine. There's so much going on behind the scenes at Captera, you guys. 
Captera makes it easy to find what you're looking for, and they got thousands of ratings and reviews from actual software users just like you. <laughs> Best of all, using Captera is absolutely free. That is correct, Eli. It's 100% free. 2018 will be here before you know it. So make sure you've got the software your business needs today to help you do what you do better. Join the millions who use Captera. That's C A P T E R R A dot com slash H3. That's Captera. C A P T E R R C A P T E R R A. Captera. Did I spell? I yeah. Know, you guys got it. Captera dot com slash H3. Thank you to Captera for sponsoring your boys. And <coughs> finally, thank you to Man Crates. This is a really interesting company. Man Crates has gift baskets for men. Um, they send it to you, really cool stuff, in a wood box. And they send you a little crowbar. And they <laughs> says, hey, dude, you want what's inside? You bet you got to work for it. Are you a man? Are you man in parent? And so, yes. And <laughs> I, it turns out, yes, I am a man. You did manage to open it. I opened it. I got like... It I was surprised. It basically comes with a shot of testosterone <laughs> in the form of opening wood with a crowbar. I'm just like, oh my God, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I started flexing in the mirror. <laughs> it's really hard to pick out the perfect gift, but all too easy to totally get it wrong. Introducing ManCrate.com, the surest way to find gifts that guys will actually love. Guaranteed. This isn't a cheese of the month club or a new tie. Ooh, <laughs> shots fired. Watch out, new tie guys. Man crates <laughs> offer over 100 hand curated gift collections for every type of guy, from the rugged outdoorsman to the sports fanatic and everything in between. For example, whiskey appreciation crate with a personalized decanter and glasses for his favorite drink. Or a grill master crate with brass knuckle meat tenderizers. Tenderizers. You put on brass knuckles, you punch me. <laughs> ah! <clears throat> Forget it, dude. And a cast iron smoker box. Just go. Just go to mancrate.com. Pick the perfect crate and choose the delivery date. It rhymes. <laughs> I didn't know they wrote this in prose. Or poetry would be, really. Guys, listen, you may not have known this about Man Crate, but both Men's Health and Allure Magazine are saying Man Crate are the perfect gift for men and those who don't agree on everything. And those two don't agree on anything, they said. I didn't realize there was a, <laughs> apparently there's a huge rivalry between Men's Health and Allure Magazine about. So Man Crate <laughs> is stuck in the middle of this beef. But they've squashed it because Man Crate is so great. They got thousands of five-star reviews, and every Man Crate comes with 100% satisfaction guaranteed. What's the link, Ethan? The link is go to mancrate.com slash h3 for 5% off your order. <laughs> One more time, that's 5% off at mancrates.com. Man Crates. With an S at the end. Mancrates.com slash h3. <laughs> I had a lot of fun with man crates. It's a it's a hoot and a holler. Go check it out. The man in your life will be on his knees, thanking you. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. And now back to the story. Welcome back to the H three podcast. We were just talking about stomping on children's faces to save ten dollars on rice cookers. We've got a call, an anecdote from somebody who has a story for us. Um, let's take a call from Eli. Eli, you're on the air. What's up, buddy? What up, Fupa Troop? Fupa what Troopers! Up? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> you got a story about Black Friday? Um, yeah, all right. Um, so, like, it was a long time ago. Uh, me and my brother were both, like, big PlayStation people. Mm. And um, when I was a lot littler, before we had anything like that, our uncle had a PS3. <laughs> One day, like, we were like, oh, that, like, that new Bam like, a Batman game's awesome. So we went to Black Friday to go get this game, right? And I was, like, really little, right? Maybe, like, six or seven or something like that, right? We were there trying to find the game, and uh, this, like, old lady, she was probably, like, 60 or to 70, right? She thought I was trying to take a purse, right? And she grabbed my face, and she had those long, like, <laughs> fake nails that all the people like to get, right? And she left a huge scratch on the side of oh my, my face. Oh, my God. Like, huge. Like, I was... <laughs> like, 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 it broke the skin. I was bleeding. My uncle got pissed. My brother got pissed. It almost started, like, a riot at, like, this Target. 
I love like, it, man. It was insane. It was like the first time I've gone to Black Market. I mean, Black Friday, and <laughs> Black I'm never going to go back because I'm just scared. So you haven't been back since then, yeah, but, but it sounds like you I got mean, some they're, badass. They're both like, the same. It sounds like you have some badass like superhero scars on your face now, though. Yeah. <laughs> like, damn, who did you save? Oh, yeah, some crazy I mean, old bitch I... just clawed me in the face on Black Friday. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I bet, I bet under the right light, I bet you can still see the scars. <laughs> <laughs> well, man, um, yeah, listen, you may have left empty-handed, but a souvenir... You're an American hero. Yeah, you're a hero, man. Thanks for braving that. No, no, no man, no, man, we, we pushed that old, uh, way, that old lady out of the way. We got that game. Oh, <laughs> hell, that's what I like to hear. I think we that's have America. <laughs> yeah, Did you... I, I, one hand on my scars, holding the blood, the other hand on the game. <laughs> I was running that checkout. Bro, you were in the trenches, I was man, not taking grenades. You're an all American hero. Thank <laughs> you for sharing your story. I was, I was like crawling around, hiding. <laughs> but thanks for taking my call, man. Oh, yeah. Nice, Thank nice you. chatting with I you, love Eli. You guys. Love you too, bro. <laughs> thanks. Okay. Let's see. We have another call from Davin. He apparently, Grandma knocked him over and grabbed a box of diapers from him. <laughs> diapers? Shit. I'm curious now. Devin? Tell me about Hello? the diapers. Yeah. <laughs> I want to know about the diapers. <laughs> Dude, it was one of the most craziest things yeah. I've ever experienced, you I know. I love it. Like growing up as like uh, growing up as like a kid in like a n- usually normal life and then just, you know, grabbing a box of diapers and not thinking anything of it and then having this random wacko come up and just knock you over. For what, some diapers, what was the you know, sale on the it diapers? really just like hit you hard as a kid. Do you remember what was the deal on the diapers? I don't even think there was a deal on the diapers. <laughs> it might have been like fifty percent off, but nothing. Well, to, just the spirit uh, Nothing to like Friday. lay out a kid over. It's like the apocalypse. Like we're uh, was it a was there a riot going on at the time? Was <laughs> was this during the L.A. riots? <laughs> No, it was literally just a regular Black Friday. It was like a few years back. Like I wasn't even that old, maybe like nine or ten. And my parents were like, hey, just go get the diapers. Just like <laughs> oh. two aisles that way. And I was like, they, all right, no problem. <laughs> they sent you on a oh solo mission God. that you'd never forget. <laughs> did you, did I you... left as a nine-year-old and came back as a man. Wow. <laughs> That's beautiful, man. Thanks for sharing that. That was really poetic. Appreciate you. God bless you. <laughs> Pooper Trooper. Boy. Boy, yeah. Um Well, it's I tough think out there. On Black Friday, age, age ain't nothing but a number. That's right. <laughs> 70, take a tumble and break your hip. <laughs> Six, formative years, you'll never be the same. <laughs> age ain't nothing but a number. Well said, you'll. <laughs> um, here's a great one. My favorites. Ugh, this the, there's this one's really good. I like just let. Uh, God, first of all, let me do everyone a favor and close these fucking <laughs> annotations. <laughs> My okay, God. I can't. These guys, they make these annotations and they know how to put them where you can't ever close them. And YouTube, in their infinite wisdom, is like, this is okay. <laughs> Anyway, I'll forget about that for now. Listen closely in the background as a woman screams as if her child was just crushed under a sledgehammer. Listen to this. Did you hear that? Yeah. It's as if the pits of hell had opened up. (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) Is this hell on earth? No. Just Walmart. Just Walmart. Black Friday. Watch this guy in the red. <laughs> Bitch. Oh my god. Will not get that TV from me! <laughs> Everyone is tripping out like. That guy just went super oh saiyan, man. <laughs> Have you ever seen. I don't know that beyond the fields of battle in Iraq or Afghanistan in modern day. Can you see anyone exert themselves with such urgency and power and resolution as you see this guy in the red right here? <laughs> Reaches into the middle of the pit, shoves that guy. Look how he shoves this guy into the way. Like, you could watch, oh, yeah, this, the guy. Yeah, watch this guy. He's like, see ya, idiot. He shoves him to the ground. <laughs> Holy oh, fuck, my God. People don't even give a shit either, man. 
Man. <laughs> Growing up in rural America is fucking weird. <laughs> Bro. And then he's just back at the line. Yeah. Yeah, he's like, All right. <laughs> Let's go home and watch our new TV, guys. When we, we were We are, we are Walmart. Right. Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> right. They should put this on the Jumbotron <laughs> as they chant that. Remember who we are. <laughs> you know, when we were there looking for sales, I was like, man, do they have any like anti anti acids on sale? I wonder if they have a showstopper on their tums. They did. <laughs> they did. I looked. Anti, like what you take for yeah. your acid yeah, reflux. Yeah, acid reflux. Oh. I was like, dude, I don't want. I don't want a wee. I just want a I'll sick deal seltzer. on some tums. <laughs> I'm gonna stock up on some tums. Um, that one's pretty great. <coughs> what else you got, DJ? So in my research, this was actually really surprising and a, and a lot of fun. And relevant as well. Speaking about Patrice Wilson, for those of you who don't know, he's the mastermind behind Rebecca Black's Friday. Mm -hmm. And we all remember, it's Friday. 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 Okay. (laughs) And so I was typed Black Friday, and I sorted by top views, and I spent a long time going through that list. I found possibly the most carnage I've seen in a video. And that would be Rebecca Black Friday acoustic version with 7.2 million views on ABC News Whoa. featuring Rebecca Black and your boy Patrice Wilson. Oh, my God. Life comes at you fast. On ABC News. <laughs> ABC fucking news, bro. This shit is pure carnage. If you lost faith in humanity watching that lady rip the box from that <laughs> young boy's hand, you ain't seen nothing. Acoustic version, ABC News, my friends. This is it. 7.5 million views. This is real. This is right. Look who's there. It's your boy, Patrice. No, get out of the shot. Get out of the shot. Oh, what was that? <laughs> How is this a thing? This is pure carnage. I'd rather watch a grown man stomp a fucking child for an Xbox. This is a this is a car wreck. There's blood everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> How many people had strokes watching this? How many people have died falling victim to this video? Yay! I got a chorus to say call and answer. Yay. Fun, fun, fun. So, anyway, <laughs> that's a thing on the internet that you guys might appreciate. Great song. There's like all these. They, oh, oh, wait. Yo, these are Patrice's other little angels. <laughs> they're He's children. made a video with this kid before. <laughs> these are Patrice's angels. No wonder they're so into it. That could be me someday. Yeah. <laughs> Those were Patrice's glory days, man. When, uh, when Friday was huge, he was on top of the world. He was like a genius, held as a genius. So chilling in the back seat. Now he's on the upside in the world. <laughs> he's an upside down world <laughs> stuck in my ass. Like a fucking what were those monsters called? Stranger the things? Gorgum- yeah, he's a Gorgon. <laughs> Gorgodon. Patrice is my Gorgodon. He's stuck in my ass. Alright. Anyway, that's a thing. Sorry. Sorry, you guys. I'd rather watch ISIS execution videos. No. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, I took that too far, I guess. <laughs> What's next on the playlist? <coughs> Up next. <laughs> um, up next on the list is a. Uh, sorry, you listen. I big fixed. sales in a stampede. Shoppers falling to the ground. Shoppers <coughs> charged ahead, fixated on doorbuster deals. 
13-year-old girl helping a pregnant woman get up the ground this, near this Grand Rapids, really Michigan. Gave me a Walmart, Walmart store this This lady gets knocked to the ground, near to the ground Rapids, Michigan, and her wig falls off. in the morning, despite several people falling to the ground. Oh. Putting oh the wig back God. on is priority before being trampled to death. She got to look fabulous. If she's going to die, she better look good. Shoppers charged ahead, fixing Like, up. they are literally storming <laughs> Normandy. Mm -hmm. I just love that. The ground near Grand Rapids, Michigan, yeah. at 5 in the morning, despite several people falling to the ground. God bless you. Shoppers char <laughs> was charged to get up, had to be taken away by ambulance. Another woman who was injured was taken to the hospital. Her <clears throat> husband blamed the store for a lack of security. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> So it's like people are risking their lives when they go out on Black Friday. I mean, basically. I never yeah. thought about it like that, but. There's this one at the. Um, Whoa. This one, this one I've got here. I just wanted to show you the one with the lady's wig falling off. I thought that was, oh, I thought that was heartwarming. Um, here's a little something to get you excited, Ella. You were doing the Target song. Walmart. Go for it. Here's the Target. We love Target. This is. They have a guy like this on every Target, giving a prep speech before Black Friday. Brothers, sisters, hear me now. Oh my God. They're standing out there. Any moment now, those doors will be breached. Whatever comes through those gates, you will stand your ground with a smile on your face. They come here with yeah, bargains in their heads work, and fire work cut in their out eyes. For <laughs> and we shall give those bargains to them. We will show them that we are not just the best store in this neighborhood, but the best store anywhere. Yes. Because we are more than just a store. We are the Lannisters. This is a team. It's like a guy this from the Game of Thrones or something. I think it's a parody of like 300. Okay. <laughs> this is Spark. You know. This is Targa! Okay. <laughs> it's 3.30 a.m. and they're like, and collect your checks for $75 on your way out. <laughs> I, I love that. Oh guy. He's, he's a jolly guy. He's trying to make the best of it. So we are Target. Nope. Which Walmart? One? That was Target. The ch the Walmart chant. Well, my question to you, Ela, since you're good the, evening. Oh my God! Oh, uh, another one. <laughs> so, in just a few moments, we're gonna open up these doors, and people from all over the world. Bro, are they? Oh Can you God. stand yeah, on the floor? Universe. Like, why? <laughs> we pour through our doors. I'll see you if you're on the floor. And you will engage in the largest sales day, probably in the history of the world. Okay. Now. Let that sink in. <laughs> You're part of history right now. <laughs> Those PlayStations, they're marked down 15 bucks. <laughs> this is the largest sale in the history of this planet, okay? This guy has sensed not much sense of humor about this. <laughs> <clears throat> I genuinely think Target sent a memo out to the store managers to climb up on a Tabletop and give a prep pep speech. Yeah, it's yeah. no time to give in to our petty differences. Who has a my device and who doesn't? <laughs> who may have said something to you over the walkie that came off as rude? Who ate my freaking sandwich out of the lunchroom? <laughs> no, no, no. We here today. We must band together. Need to increase the stock <laughs> of this company by 0.2 percent. All right, I'm too. I'm too. Uh, too cynical. <clears throat> Sorry, it's the bile stuck in my throat. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, so here is one outside. I wonder if people are gonna... This shit is fucked. This is Urban Outfitters. Do not get in between 15-year-old oh girls and their $5 leggings. Whew. That's a lot of people. Bro. What's more terrifying, this or like paratroopers? Just, just buy online. I like, I like Black Friday online. It's like, yeah, safe, peaceful. I guess some people like the adrenaline rush. I guess. You know, who am I gonna elbow in the face today <laughs> and get away with it? Your mouse. If you're not right in the front, like, what are you? Are you? Underneath it. Like, if once it comes up like halfway, 
There's probably literally a thousand people here lined outside the gate. They're squealing. Now they're tearing down the gate, climbing oh, under. Wow. They've got this theft detectors. They're being, it's like a tsunami. Oh Everything is going with the tsunami. But these detectors are being ripped asunder. Bro. <laughs> That's stupid. That's crazy. What is wrong with this planet, man? I mean, genuinely and seriously, I don't know. Does Urban Outfitters even do, like, crazy sales? I don't think so. <laughs> Apparently. It's probably not that crazy. Probably have Tums on sale or something. <laughs> you know, me and Ela did go to Black Friday once. <laughs> we went one time, and it was the... <laughs> Well, let me tell you, it's got a twist ending. <laughs> this is when we were living in Santa Cruz and we were super poor. Mm -hmm. And our laptop that my parents had bought me for college started dying. And we're like, dude, we're so fucking broke, man. Like, ugh. I remember we spent. We like had a... no TV. <coughs> like, that was, yeah. It's our only source of entertainment. <laughs> we used to watch Seinfeld on a stream that looped every episode <laughs> on that thing. That was our only source of entertainment. And we were so bored. I remember we, we spent like a full day seeing what was the best value we could get for like $300. Mm -hmm. And we're like, dude, Black Friday's coming up. Like, let's let's cop one of these deals. <laughs> and so we were looking on Best Buy. And I'm like, man, this is a great fucking deal for 300 bucks. It's the best deal in town. We got, we're, let's go. Let's actually go do it. It was, cra it was a crazy idea, right? I'm like, man, I don't want to be one of those people, but hell. I was also curious because I've never, yeah. it was my first time right. in the States. And so we are lazy as fuck, dude. We, me and you, we were sleeping until like, well, not you. You used to wake up early, but we would sleep in when we weren't working because we yeah. woke up at like 3.30. We left to go to Best Buy <laughs> to be first in line. Pitch black, middle of the night, freezing cold. We pull up. <clears throat> There's nobody there. Like, what the fuck? Are we just, are we the insane people who, like, camp out and wait in line? <laughs> so we get out of the car, we go up to the front. The lights are off in the store. Nobody's even there. I'm like, okay, I guess we're even crazier than the employees. And we're like, hold on, what the f Like, what is today? <laughs> <laughs> it's we, not Friday. It wasn't Black Friday. <laughs> we went on Thanksgiving, it must have been. How sad is that, by the way? We didn't even know it was Thanksgiving. <laughs> I think I didn't understand what Black Friday was. So we went on the wrong day. We woke our asses up at 3.30, went all the way there. How stupid. And then we went and got some burritos that were, s that was the whole thing. Saltiest burrito of all time. <laughs> we got burritos, went to sleep, both woke up in the middle of the night super thirsty. Like we've never drank water before. Great anecdote. <laughs> Um, we didn't go the next day though. We bought it online. Yeah. Very happy with that. But man, that was embarrassing, huh? <laughs> probably for the best. I would have probably need some kid in the face and been in prison or something. <laughs> um here, watch this one. This is my final Black Friday video. Ready? I keep talking about like warfare and like trenches and stuff and how it resembles like an invasion. And this part really struck me as such. Watch this guy here on the ground. Immediately spills. <laughs> Everybody eats shit. Look at this guy scrambling out of the way for dear fucking life like he's in the trenches taking grenades. Look at this. Everyone's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. People on the floor. You think that would stop them? No. Watch this. Let him in. People immediately start eating shit. Look, uh, uh, look, uh. look at these. Get it. <laughs> survive, it's pure oh survival God. instinct, man. <laughs> what a nightmare. I'm pretty sure a couple years ago, some old lady literally died. God. Dan, can you do some research? How many fatalities have happened on Black Friday? I'd like to know that. Meanwhile, that's about all I got about that, so... Get out there, you know, whatever it takes, five dollars, 
save that. Whatever the hell it takes, you guys. Any sense of something. Do we got a call on deck? No. So next up. Oh, he sent you a death comment. What is on this? On Black Friday. You see oh. the Discord? Wait, you sent me a death count? Are you fucking kidding me? There's a website called Black Friday Death Count. <laughs> Jesus. Holy shit. Dude, this website's awesome. Somebody already thought of this. Black Friday death count. 10 deaths. 107 injuries. 10 deaths. <laughs> My God. <laughs> it's got all the details. <laughs> Honorable mentions. This guy's serious <laughs> as hell. All right, let's skip those. We got a lot of data here. In 2016, San Antonio man helped a woman being beaten in a Walmart parking lot. Shot dead. Shopper opens fire, killing one over Walmart parking spot. They didn't even get a chance to get in the store. They were killing each other over parking spots. Black Friday kicks off with deadly shooting at New, Jer New Jersey Mall. That was from 2016. 2013. Teen returns home from Black Friday shopping, fell asleep at wheel, killed in wreck. We'll throw that in. I'll throw that in. <laughs> I mean, you know, woke up early. Father crashed. Father charged in crash that killed daughters after Black Friday shopping. That is truly awful. My God. Can you imagine getting a car crash? Your daughters die and then you go to prison for it? It's like, oh, okay. I guess my life is just f completely and permanently fucked. You went from elbowing some old lady in the face for a rice cooker. Black Friday. Target shoppers step over Walter Vance. Who the fuck is Walter Vance? What's so specific? They step over a guy as he collapses and dies. Jesus. Ah, oh, warms your heart, isn't it? <laughs> Southern California Toys R Us shooting leaves two dead. What's with all these shootings? At Toys R Us of all places? Toys are not apparently killing people, R Us. Am I right? Mm -mm. Not right. Did I miss? <laughs> Unlike the bullets. Those hit. Worker dies at Long Island Walmart after being trampled in Black Friday stampede. Bro, that's so sick. This poor this son of a bitch. This depressing. This poor son of a bitch working 3 a.m. at Walmart gets trampled to death. Oh, Patrice. Oh, okay, Patrice is on his live stream kick. I'll take a quick. I'll take a quick look. Patrice Wilson, YouTube. I can't resist. Apparently, there's some shit going down here. Oh, okay. The it's, top note keeps getting. Yeah, he keeps blacking out the thumbnail, making it creepier and creepier. And it just clearly says 666H3. Why is everyone getting alarmed? <laughs> All right, Patrice, what do you got for me this week? And he also had this website called socialmedianetworks.com. Bro, that? what are you even playing? This is even your voice. Like, like we just saw, there were creepy shots littered throughout the stream in an almost He's playing other people's videos. Wait, what? This ain't creepy, Patrice. You just broke the wall. I'm That's, not spooked anymore. Yeah, what is he showing? Someone else's video about the stream? Yeah. He did find a trailer... What was he doing, Dan? For a new show. All right, forget about it. He's trying to promote a show. You blew it, capiche? Uh, apparently, he was showing clips of me making fun of him. Okay. That's a death threat. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a story that came up recently that really pissed me off. Uber. <sighs> These... Sickos, man. I don't know if you guys heard about this story. A hackers broke into Uber's database and stole everybody's data. Drivers, passengers, everybody's data. And they covered it up for a whole fucking year mm -hmm. and didn't tell anybody. 57 million people data stolen. That's crazy. Bro, people are calling my number all the time. 
And I'm like, who, how are people getting my number? Instagram was hacked, and they leaked mm-hmm. numbers, apparently, on verified accounts. Now, all of a sudden, I found out a year ago, Uber leaked everybody's data. And they didn't even say anything for and a year. And they were, like, year. actively trying to hide it, too. <clears throat> so the hackers had all this data, and they demanded a $100,000 ransom that Uber paid. And they wrote it off as a deduction for a bug bounty. <laughs> <laughs> These psychopaths. I'm getting so tired of all these companies just like playing willy nilly with everyone's data and then nothing happens. Like, that's a serious breach of privacy. Privacy. What happened with Equifax? Were they leaking mm-hmm. like social security numbers of like half of Americans? And they're like, eh, what can you do? We just had it in a plain text file in a doc that said social security numbers. We Nobody could have seen this coming. I'm ready to bring out the guillotine. Maybe not that far, but... Things that you have no option. You got to use the services. What are you going to not use Instagram? You're going to not use Uber? <laughs> but that's what's so fuck. Like, that's why we need regulations. Yeah. You can't trust these sons of bitches. And there's not even a fair competition. Like, there's there's not that many companies doing it. It's not like there's millions of options to choose from, like Equifax. It's like, they're like, sorry, just shit down your open mouth. What are you going to do about it, idiot? But the fact that they waited a whole freaking year and didn't say anything, man. I find that so insane. I'm, I'm, li- I'm deleting Uber. I'm, I've removed the app from my phone. I'm using Lyft now. Dot com slash H3. I'm only using Lyft.com slash H3 now. <laughs> because they respect my data. And they treat their drivers great. <laughs> this isn't. This was very integrated, but it's how it wasn't planned. But like, dude, we can't support these companies who 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 play us like this. I know, but it's. I'm just saying, you have no option. <coughs> what are you gonna delete Instagram? No, I no. love Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> they could just leak pictures of my dick, and I'd be like, Oh well. Damn. What, I wonder what Elo posted today. <laughs> but that kind of brings me into the next story that I want to talk about, which is next, net neutrality, which is once again up for debate. Everyone's trying to fuck it with net neutrality for the hundredth time. Everyone complains. And then the politicians and the telecom companies are like, this is the first time uh, we've <laughs> talked about this. Everyone who talks, like, we did a whole podcast about net neutrality. Yeah. Recently. And there's always people who dissent, who disagree. Because I guess the, the counter argument is that the less regulations, the better, the more free market, right? Mm-hmm. And so companies that decide to use the tenets of net neutrality will have more business. You let the market decide. But you'll have like three companies. Comcast in many places is the only freaking place you can get internet. Or they have like dummy companies where Comcast has like normal first world internet speed. And then you have another one called like uh, lol only idiots buy this shit. It has like dial up speed. that They just have it there so it doesn't seem like a monopoly. Mm Mm-hmm. It's so frustrating, dude. It's just like a battle of misinformation. Let me show you this fucking Orwellian shit that um, Verizon tweeted this out. And immediately I was like, they're going to delete this. This is the (laughs) dumbest garbage I've ever seen. You know what they're calling this bill to repeal net neutrality? This is some 1984 shit. The Restoring Internet Freedom Act. Mm -hmm. (laughs) It's so confusing. And so people who believe in, like, more conservative doctrines of not regulating markets, you get so confused by the name Restoring Internet Freedom Act. It's so insidious. It's seriously confusing. I was confused when I saw that (laughs) article that you're going to show. Right. It's not (laughs) it's not cool. Let let me explain this for people who don't understand or like I don't believe in net neutrality because whatever. Net neutrality literally only says that telecom companies cannot regulate the Internet. It's literally a regulation to make it free. Mm -hmm. It's a little counterintuitive, but that's what it is. Okay, And so restoring the Internet Freedom Act, freedom for them to 
basically upcharge you, throttle like, your speed, and do whatever they want. It's like they're making fun of you when they call yeah, it. totally. For freedom. Because reasonably, repealing net neutrality benefits about a thousand people. The owners and stock shares of these telecom companies. That's it. Versus 300 plus million Americans. You know, look at this here. This was their tweet that they erased. I fucking saved it on my phone. I'm like, these idiots are going to remove this. They said, we support the FCC's... Uh, restoring internet freedom. Yeah, proposal. restoring internet freedom. And I commented something like, of course you do. You paid for it. Because they spent tens of millions of dollars lobbying to repeal net neutrality. Anyway, I can't read all this garbage. You get the idea. But they try to make it seem like they're doing this great thing or or, or even worse that we agree with you. Mm-hmm. We're on your, we all agree on this. We all want a free and open internet. That's why we're storing the Internet Freedom Act. You know? So, and then Comcast literally Hitler, by the way, like when you search Comcast, a nasty swastika comes up. Look at the balls on these lunatics. Comcast tweeted this out. We do not and will not block, throttle, or discriminate against lawful content. We will continue to make sure that our policies are clear, transparent for consumers. We will not cha- change our commitment to these principles. Here's the picture. We won't block. We won't throttle. We won't. We will be transparent. We Yeah. You get it. You, I said that wrong. That's basically like Hitler saying, I won't, I swear to God, I will not invade Poland. <laughs> Comcast <laughs> has been the most hated and distrusted company in all of the world for like many years running. Why is it that you think if they're so down with the tenets of net neutrality, why is it that you, that they spend tens of million dollars every year lobbying to repeal it? Yeah. If you believe it, then what's the fucking problem? It's there already. I'm so over it. It's so fucking frustrating. You have to have this conversation every other month, man. Yeah, every once a month I see net neutrality trending on Twitter and I'm like, oh, (coughs) what happened this month? It's like they break you down. They grind you down until you can't talk about it anymore because people are tired of listening to it. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of talking about it. People are tired of listening to me talk about it. It's fucking sick. And it's a game that they play. It's a calculated game. They spend money. It's, they're hedging their bets. And they're buying senators and governors. And they're confusing people into thinking that they're voting in their favor. Look at this Comcast tweet. Like, um, here. I, I, I comment, tweet, retweeted it. Let me show you, like, one comment in particular that, sh- that shows you, like, the confusion that they're sowing in people's minds with, uh, with this 1984 double talk. One of the comments is like, I'm confused. Here's one of the top comments, 44 likes. I'm confused. Now that a company is showing that they support what we're all fighting for, you're labeling them as Hitler. Am I missing something here? Yes. And and, that's, and they're intentionally doing mm-hmm. that to confuse yeah. you. Yeah, we, we fully support net neutrality as they spend millions to get it repealed. Fuck. So frustrating, dude. It's like they're just, in the end, it feels like inevitable. They're just going to win. Because how, you know, how can we keep fighting the same shit forever? How, when does it end? It ends when they win. That's it. Like we already won once. Obama passed net neutrality laws and we won. And now, mm-hmm. fucking hell, we're staying back in the same stupid ass situation. It's like the last free medium in the whole world is the last true democratic medium. I wonder what would happen in the rest of the world if it changes here. It will follow. It will follow, right? Most definitely it will follow. Because, I mean, maybe, maybe some governments, like maybe some, some countries and the populace are educated enough to know that it's, that it's all a bunch of crap. Problem with America is there's way too many people there's way too much information. There's way too much confusion. Nobody knows what the fuck's going on. When you have a country like Den, like uh, I don't know, Norway, for example, they have like five million people there. 
So it's much easier for everyone to under, kind of understand and educate themselves. There's less diversity of opinion and, and less polarized. Here it's like this par- party politic. is like if you're a conservative or right winger, it, it's, it's on your party line to support net neutrality. And there's yeah. just there you don't you and that's just all there is to it. You support your team. Well, I'm sick of it. Anyway, it's my prediction is that it's it's going to pass and we're all fucked because there's just you can't fight this fight forever. They grinding you down, man. Shit. So on that note. It's a battle of misinformation and confusion, and we are going to lose. And listen, at the end of the day, all that matters is that next year, a year from today, I can kick a little fucking toddler in the face. I can punt his ass (laughs) three yards and save $20 on a TV. As long as I can kick an infant without repercussion because it's in the chaos, in the mayhem, then you can control my internet. You can monitor me. You can open my phone and watch me jerk off. Record my screen, all the weird porn I watch. <laughs> you know they do that. Then someday when I'm trying to run for, for a governor or some shit, <laughs> they're going to be like, Ethan, are you sure, dude? I saw you watching that prego puke porn, man. And we have footage of it. And I'll be like, all right, fuck, I'm out. I'm not going to run. It's not worth it. <laughs> they got us all by the balls, but we can fucking elbow little babies in the f- face. And then finally, we got one other really cool thing to talk about. H3, H3, DLC, Payday 2. Yeah. Bros, there's this game, Payday 2, if you don't know what it is. One of the most popular PC games. Super fucking fun multiplayer game. These guys over at Starbreeze and Overkill, we've been talking to them for, how long has it been? Like six months to a year or something. Yeah, since April Fool's it all started. April Fool's. They started by... Making a joke about that they were putting us in the game as a DLC playable characters, but everybody liked it. Mm-hmm. And so, like, fuck it, let's do it. So, we flew out to Sweden a while ago, you guys may remember. We were planning all the DLC with these guys. Came back since then, we've been doing like hours of voiceover recording. It's been a ton of work. And we're really proud of the work we did, actually. That's really on, awesome. On uh, Payday 2. It was so much fun, man. Look at this shit. We put us in the fucking game. <laughs> Eva scares the shit out of me. <laughs> if I'm being honest. My character came out so scary. It's my good though. My forehead's a little fucked. I'm, I'm... <laughs> my forehead's not that big, is it? No. <laughs> anyway, there's like so many voice lines. They give us this really cool freaking perk deck and gun. Here, listen. E- Ethan's like... um, weapon is the... Is a ruler. That's my melee weapon, yeah. It's from the... Uh, Two-handed t- greatsword. Right. Here, let me play some lines for you guys. It's a hoot. Football, I would have started a long time ago. This guy actually went and got all of them in the game. Uh, is success. Hey, dude, I got like half a sodi pop in the fridge if you want it. <laughs> <laughs> kind of embarrassing. That is so 50s. Um, I was just zoning out thinking about chicken wings. Chicken wings. Sorry about that. It's okay, Control. I was just combing my hair. Keep the civilians calm, guys. Be nice. All right, keep the civilians calm now. Hey, forget this. I have to be, like, somewhat mm-hmm. serious when we're doing it because it's, yeah. like, they don't want us to absolutely destroy the game because it is about bank <laughs> robbers. And they have, like, a whole community that follows this game. It's yeah. a very serious community. <laughs> yeah. So they didn't want to upset the people that were not fans of ours. <coughs> Total meme. So it had to be like a good mix of meme, non-meme. Right. But wow. here's the best part. Ela shouting <laughs> and fucking people up. I swear I saw one other guy talking to his gun or something. It was weird. <laughs> Will this Bane guy ever show up here? I can't we were going to steal it. Wait, I want to get you in the gunfight, man. Here. On me. Follow. <laughs> Come with me. Better, Fuck people up, you It sounds weird like this. Oh, shit, they shot me. <laughs> <laughs> You're in a Walker. fucking video game, Hilo. Walker. <laughs> the Walker got it. <laughs> sniper, take him down. <laughs> yeah, dude, you sniper. sound like Arnold, man. Sniper.
sniper. Come on, faster. <laughs> you got a sniper. <laughs> sniper. Got him. Sniper is dead. But I want to see. <laughs> the shield is dead. Sniper is down. A taser. <laughs> got anyway, a taser. We're, we're gonna make an H3 video about it. So. <laughs> but it's available. If you want to play it, the base game 75% off on Steam. The H3H3 H3 DLC is out. We are going to make an H3 video about it soon. It's going to be a laugh, a hood, a holler, a gaff, a boof, a spoof, a slam. <laughs> anyway, guys, listen, do we have any other calls? Guess not. Poor Ian's been taking all these fucking calls. They only got two. Only two passed the grade. <laughs> wonder how many people, how many, how many people have you talked to today, Ian, would you guess? How many people have you hung up on? 40. About 40. <laughs> shit, you college got to step your shit up, man. Only two got through out of 40. Ian is the great firewall, man. All the callers hate Ian. He's great. I love Ian, man. He's in the trenches literally taking grenades well, for us. Well, because, you know, we're only going to take questions. We can't... I can imagine a lot of people just want to say hi and, like... Yeah, help. sure. Apparently, they're like, people are calling and be like, when is Teddy Fresh restock coming? And it's like, it's not the purpose of this phone call, but God bless you anyway. Yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you for spending this Friday with us. It's been an absolute joy. It's been a privilege and a pleasure. I'm sorry that Bert Kreischer was not here. Yeah. But I hope you enjoyed this uh, face stomping, elbow throwing. Black Friday Black special. Friday extravaganza. And I wish you all the very best. I love you all very, very much. Next week, we have very excited JonTron. Finally. Probably one of the most highly requested guests. Yeah. Is finally coming on the show. This Wednesday, it's at an unusual hour. It's, uh, yeah, it's on Wednesday. I'm going to put up a thread right after this ends for questions for him. So go there and put your questions for good old Jono, Johnny Boy, Jantran. Um, so guys, I will see you then. And I love you so I love you. <laughs> I want to see you all naked. Stop. I want a carrot shaved. I want a tub of mayonnaise. You know what comes next. Your eyes look like hamburgers. Oh wow. I was like, wait, what the <laughs> fuck is that? <laughs> um, that's a beautiful love song. The girl with hamburgers in her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to write that. <laughs> anyway, guys, have a great weekend. You know, if you were here, let me tell you. You look, close your eyes. Cover your ears. <laughs> Pure love. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, it was a lot of fun, guys. Have a great weekend. Have a great weekend, guys. Ta-ta.